today is a sad day for the city of Toledo. It's a sad day for the Toledo Police Department. And most important, it's a sad day for the family, friends, loved ones, and fellow officers of Officer Anthony Dia, who paid the ultimate sacrifice in protecting his city tonight. At about 11 minutes after midnight, a 911 call came in of a person, intoxicated person, holding a beer, walking around the lot of the Home Depot at 1035 West Alexis. Officer Dia was the first crew to arrive that, that morning on a check to safety. He was checking to make sure that this man was okay. Witnesses tell us that the suspect was walking away from the officer and for, for some reason turned and fired around from a handgun striking Officer Dia in the chest. Officer Dia's fellow officers scooped him up and took him to Toledo Hospital where sadly he succumbed to his injuries. Backup officers at the scene immediately set up a perimeter. Witnesses said the suspect uh, went into a wooded area near the lot. Uh, we put a drone up in the air and a canine was on the ground for tracking. Now I don't have the time at my, at my fingertips right now, but I'll get it for you. But officers reported hearing a single gunshot wound coming from the, uh, from the woods. At 3.15 this morning, officers found the 57-year-old white suspect dead of an apparent gunshot wound to the, his head. Um, we have witnesses that identified him as the person who shot Officer D. I want to make sure that everybody in the city, specifically the people who live in that part of town, real, understand that the scene is safe. They, they have nothing to worry about. And I ask that you keep Officer Dia's wife, two-year-old child, friends, family, and fellow officers in your, in your prayers, and that you respect their privacy in this most difficult time. We will have a follow-up press conference Monday. At that time, I'll be able to give you much more details on, on the suspect and uh, the time frame. So that is my, my, uh, my remarks. Mayor? <clears throat> Today is Independence Day, and as Americans uh, gather today to celebrate their freedoms, many will reflect on the sacrifices that were made to provide them. Some of those sacrifices took place at Bunker Hill. Some took place at Little Round Top at Gettysburg. Some took place on Omaha Beach. Some took place in Afghanistan and other areas around the country and the world during the 244 year history of our country. Americans will be right to recognize these sacrifices today as they reflect on them. I would hope that they also pause to reflect on the sacrifices that safety forces and especially police forces throughout our country also make every day, every night, with very little fanfare, often vilified, always underappreciated. One such sacrifice took place uh, this morning. Uh, I was at the emergency room 
maybe at 2 o'clock in the morning. I arrived, and it was a horrific and heartbreaking moment. And to my dying day, I will never forget the sight of Officer Dia being wheeled out of the hospital on a gurney with his body wrapped in an American flag. flanked by about 30 Toledo police officers saluting and weeping. Sacrifice comes in all forms and we cannot forget uh, the struggle that our police officers face on a daily basis. Anthony Dia uh, was a son, uh, a father, a husband. If you want to know what kind of a family man he was, you should go to his Facebook page and see his profile picture. He was also Muslim. He was not only, therefore, uh, one of Toledo's bravest and best police officers. He's also someone who contributes to the diversity that have made, has made our country and our city so great. It is our nation's birthday. And our nation's motto is e pluribus unum, from many come one. We live in divided times, but we must come together as one. We are one human family, one American family, and one Toledo family. And today our family is in mourning uh, due to the loss of one of our family members. Whether you pray to the God Officer Dia prayed to, your own God, or no God at all, please take time today and reflect on not just his sacrifice, but on the sacrifice that the men behind me make every day, putting their lives on the line to protect the citizens of the city and this country. So on behalf of the city of Toledo, I offer heartfelt condolences to our family, which today has a broken heart and will never forget the contributions and the sacrifices of Anthony Dia. Thank you. That was Toledo Police Chief George Crawl and Mayor Wade Kapsikavich recapping um, what happened earlier uh, Friday, late Friday evening. A Toledo police officer is dead after being shot and killed in the light of duty. Now here is what we know um, from this briefing. TPD responded to the Home Depot on Alexis around midnight. Witnesses say they saw the suspect shoot the officer. The officer, his name is Anthony Dia. Um, this call came in around 1035. 5 p.m. and um, after uh, the officer came he was on a call for a check the safety call um, to check on an intoxicated person now um, Anthony Dia is survived by his wife and two-year-old child uh, Toledo police say they will have a follow-up press conference on Monday um, with more details and a recap on what happened late Friday evening. Now we will have more on this at 9 a.m. and also 10 will be following this all day. This um, officer this officer that was killed now makes 22 Toledo police officers killed in the line of duty by gunfire since 1908.
The next most recent was canine officer Falco in 2015 and detective Keith Dressel in 2007.